Oh, hey, Iggy. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. It's been a day. It's 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 been a it's been a little bit of a day. Hmm. Okay. Um audio's looking decent. Audio's looking decent. Sorry, I'm I'm stifling a burp. <clears throat> All right, think we're uh, think we're good to go here. Awete amiki, my name is Faustus Marius Incatatus, the true consul of Rome, the favorite horse of the god Emperor Caligula. Thank you all so much for joining me on on this weekend. It's gonna be a Stardew Valley weekend, I think. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm uh, words words. I am finding myself turning to Stardew Valley when I have uh, when I have no ideas for what else to play. I, I really need to come up with some stuff, but uh, you know, I'm really enjoying the hell out of the 1.6 patch. So, figure I'm just gonna do Stardew Valley uh, today and tomorrow, and then I will uh, enjoy my day off on Monday. So that's the plan going forward. Hope you all are having a fantastic weekend. Uh, my my day was a little mixed. Um, Started off pretty good. I got some good sleep and, uh, you know, did a few morning tasks and then I went to lunch, uh, at a new Mexican restaurant that I think might be my favorite in town. Um, they do, uh, they do really good birria, which if you've never tried it is like, uh, it's like, uh, braised beef and it's really tasty, savory, uh, savory consomme sauce and it's like, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. I think it's uh it's really popular in like the uh in like the uh West Coast fusion circles and stuff. Like it's uh really, really common to to put ramen noodles in there, like in the birria sauce, and it works, it works. Cause it's pretty salty and savory, just like ramen broth. So So that was nice, that was nice. Um Missed out on uh, streaming Baldur's Gate with Yini today, and that was a little unfortunate. Um, Mexican? Don't you mean a good burger and freedom prize, comrade? Mmm. <laughs> sounds pretty good right now, actually. Um, sounds pretty good right now. But hey, if you uh, if you consider California to be uh, to be American, and I know that's a little bit of a stretch sometimes. Uh, the place I went to was very fusion. So, uh, so there is that. There is that. It, 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 it was rather American. <laughs> good burger sounds, uh, good burger sounds really good right now. Good burger, the mu the movie sounds, uh, pretty good right now. I, I didn't see the new one, but, uh, I was just thinking about the old one the other day, and, uh, I think I want to watch that again. Good burger with Keenan and Kel. I'm a dude, you're a dude, he's a dude, cause we're all dudes, yeah! What's up, Yeeny? And hi, REZ. Good to, good to see you both. I consider California a wasteland. Um, fair, fair. It's, uh, I don't know. I've been there a few times, um... I did not enjoy my time in Los Angeles, but I did enjoy my time in San Diego. So those are the two places I've been. Um, I actually drove into uh, San Diego, so like I got to see uh, got to see the Mojave, got to see uh, San Bernardino, that whole thing. Like coming into San Diego. Besides, Whataburger is always the right choice. We have <laughs> so like the uh, the Whataburger is like the only twenty four seven burger joint uh, anywhere near me. So I I I find myself eating Whataburger a lot, not necessarily because it's uh, amazing, but because it's available. It's like they always say, the best ability is availability. Um, but no, Whataburger's good. Whataburger's good. I think it's. 
it's been observed by other people as well in like other states that Whataburger outside of Texas is not nearly uh, as good. And I, I, I found that to be the case because I tried Whataburger in Texas once. It was excellent. Um, not nearly as good. Not nearly as good outside of Texas. So I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if they lose something when they franchise it out, or they're counting on that really fresh beef or something. False in Alabama, it's hidden, really. Okay. Well, maybe, uh, they, they, they just moved here a few years ago, so maybe they've yet to hit their stride, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, the Whataburger's, Whataburger's alright, but I, I find it was a lot better in Texas. But yeah, I, uh, I end up, uh, going there pretty frequently because it is the only one that's open at, uh, at 2 a.m. when the horse hungers for a burger. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's hidden in Alabama. Same with Oklahoma. I mean... Oklahoma is, is honorary Texas. <laughs> gonna, gonna piss off the, uh, the seven people who live in Oklahoma by saying that, probably, but, uh... I mean, Oklahoma is, is honorary Texas. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. That's fair. Texas in general. So much food I'd get sick to actually eat anymore. Uh, I'm kind of feeling that way today, actually. I was I was very sluggish getting into this stream because I, uh, I ate so much at lunch at the Mexican place that, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's staying with me. It's haunting me. Being haunted by, uh, haunted by Mexican ghosts. Strange mariachi music coming from the attic late at night. <laughs> Went to a chicken shack, had the best chicken and waffles I'd ever had. Ooh, that sounds really good. Um, oh, you know, that's another, uh, that's another, uh, that's another restaurant that I, that I feel like really... Either I'm just not a huge fan of it, or it's not good to like the franchise that we have here. Um, that is, a, that is a Raisin Cane's. Cane's Chicken, the, the, the chicken strip place. Um, it's garbage here, but everybody, everybody else, like elsewhere who... Well, I won't say everybody, but I've heard so many people elsewhere talking about, Oh, you know, Cane's is wonderful. I love Cane's. Cane's Chicken. Uh... Tried it a few times here. It's uh, it's never impressed, never ever impressed. The chicken sucked. The sauce was pretty flavorless. Um, not a fan at all. And I'm I, I kind of just gotta assume that uh, certainly I'm not crazy. Certainly it's the uh, it's the franchise that is wrong, right? So yeah, that's kind of another one that I want to uh, try elsewhere and see if it's better than what we have here. And it's just like a franchise issue. Uh, but yeah, Raising Cane's, the, the chicken tender place. Not a, not, not my favorite here, and I, I do suspect it's just like a problem with the franchise. But ch chicken and waffles sounds good right now, actually. If, uh, once, uh, once I, once I'm no longer haunted by, uh, by La Fantoma. <laughs> La Fantoma de la almuer del, del almuerzo, yes. La Fantoma de la Marzo. So it, is, uh, it is haunting me. But yeah, chicken waffles. Sounds pretty good. Or a burger. I mean, being real, by the time I'm done with the stream tonight, Whataburger is probably going to be the only place open. So yeah, it might be a, might be a Whataburger night. I don't know. Anyways, we've, uh, we've been on the starting screen for 10 minutes. I should probably get into Stardew Valley, yeah? So yeah, doing this, uh, doing this today and tomorrow is the plan. I'll take Monday off, get a schedule out. You know the truth. Okay, so last time, had a pretty, pretty productive uh, first few days of fall. Um, last few days of, uh, of summer. We, we got our sprinklers set up, finally. Oh, bok choy. So I think the plan today was to go down into the mines. So stream goals today. We are going to uh, get our goat. Four of them, in fact. We'll get four goats. I like having the coop here so much more. 
Yep, the barn has been expanded. We have room for goats. So, uh, yeah, we will grab goats as soon as we can. And I'm going to finish the mine. I'm going to finish, well, the first mine at least. Granted, there's no finishing the second mine. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish the mine. Get to level 120. And probably, if I can, build the better coop. Get some rabbits in our life here. I sent Chimkin Pick. You decide what to do with it. Whoa. Beanie, are you are you showing me your cock? That's special. Alright, let's uh let's check this Chimkin pick that uh that Yeenie has sent us. One moment, please wait warmly. See if it's stream worthy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's uh that's stream worthy. Alright. Give me a moment here. We will uh I will share the abomination that Yeni has uh has uh, sent to my Discord. <clears throat> Image. Da, da, da. <laughs> Did you just make this, Yeeny? Um, cause it's special. This is what Yeeny just sent me. Um, not not the Cane's chicken I was referring to, but I would absolutely, uh, I would absolutely uh, patronize this establishment. Most certainly. Seems like a classy place, you know? You got him holding the rotisserie chicken and everything. Look at that. My goodness. This is what, uh, this is what, this is the quintessence of having a hyena in your life. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. They just, they, they slide into your DMs and send you this sort of thing. Um, alright. Well, we'll put this, uh, you know what, we'll... We'll shrink this down a little bit. We will uh, we will put this up on the fridge for this stream. Show how proud we are of Yeeny. Our little meme lord hyena. Um, oh, right. I sent you a different Chimkin pick for your eyes only. Oh. Oh God, now I'm, did she actually show me her cock? Yep, she did. Oh, look at that, wow. That is huge, Eenie, goodness. Goodness, I am intimidated, I, I am intimidated. <laughs> Let's water the cat here. Did I need bok choy for the, uh, I think I might have needed bok choy for the community center. Yeah. Hold on to that. Da, 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 da. Don't need the axe. Don't really need the uh Whoa 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 Hey man whoa man There we go That's all I wanted to do Whoa what? Yeah 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 Yeeny uh Yeeny is sending me things Sent a a different chicken pick uh, for my eyes only. It was a uh, it was huge. It was quite huge. Intimidating. Do 
sharing chicken pictures, Yeni, and you not even share? Hey, I she I shared the first one she sent me. That's got the Cane's fried chicken, you know. That's... There we go. She did good. She did good. I wonder where this barn is. Looks uh, hmm. Probably East Coast would be my guess. Then again, knowing Yeni, it's probably Scandinavian. Um, I think I see some pine trees in the background, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna guess it's uh, I'm gonna guess it's Pennsylvania. Yeah, we'll put that up on our fridge. Show everyone how proud we are of Yeni. Looking for a ripe bok choy, Harvey. Okay, well. Lucky for you, Harvey. Lucky for you. Um, what have I not planted? I know I didn't bother planting fairy seeds. Uh, might... I need a bunch of wheat for the, uh... Need a bunch of wheat for the, uh, community center anyways, so, yeah, we'll probably plant that. Um, and I think I'll just check the community center and see if uh, they do indeed need a bok choy, and if not, then I'll uh, give the bok choy to Harvey and, uh, and be done with it. I seem to recall there was a way to check uh, the bundles from anywhere, but maybe I don't have that. They do not want a bok choy. They want a yam, they want a pumpkin, an eggplant, and some corn. Also getting uh, rather tired of walking around on these dumb human feet. I think it's uh, might be time to uh, employ the superior form of transportation in this game. Spoiler: it has hooves. Um, yeah. <laughs> Give that bitch a bok choy, and then we'll head for the mines. Bitches love bok choy. Not sure I've ever actually had bok choy. Maybe at some point. Seems like a yeah, it just seems like yeah, leafy greens. Uh the stalks maybe are kinda of what freak me out. Um no, Harvey, I would like to uh Yeah. Come here. No. You brought me the item I asked for. I really appreciate it. Let's see, here's what I owe you. Yeah, thanks, Harvey. Thanks, Harvey. All right. So unfortunately, we got caught off, uh, caught up with uh, coddling the uh, coddling the feeble-minded peasants uh, beneath us. So uh, don't know that we'll completely finish the mine today, but we'll try and get five levels at least. One ten. Uh, these are more dark levels, if I recall. Shouldn't be a problem. We have a glow ring now, but uh, yeah, I think near the end they turn out the lights. Okay. Okay. Getting some gold veins. I forgot to check what the luck was like today. I think it appropriately is in Kentucky. Okay. I believe it.
did you like actually try to find a barn that was in Kentucky or is that just a uh, just a happy accident I don't recall. I see. You did make that, right? It's it's very you. <laughs> it's very Yeeny hears a uh, Yeeny hears Americans discussing fast food and decides to be a meme lord. Oh, oh, what are you? Oh, you, you, you're a problem. I did make it, but I think it was made last year. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say, you worked pretty fast if you just made that when I mentioned Kane's Chicken. That makes a little more sense. Okay. Well, since it's not the hip hot, uh, <laughs> the hip hot new thing, I don't know if I should be uh, exhibiting it in my art gallery right now. You haven't been dead long enough for your uh, for your art to have value. Got to pick for this somewhere. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Yeeny always has a pick for this somewhere. <laughs> That's what I tell myself, too. <laughs> how, uh, yeah, how large is your uh, anime girl reaction folder, Yeeny? Like the, uh, like the, the over folder. I guess it's not just anime girls. There are some anime guys. I'm curious how large it is. What, what, what is it ballooned to? The what? You know damn well what I'm talking about. Your your anime screen cap folder. Don't pretend you don't have one. Hyena's gonna drive me to drink. My screen cap folder is only 3.3 .3 gig, really. I find that tough to believe. Did you clean it out recently? No. You just think I have more than I do. Hey! Prismatic Shard and some Meridium Ore. Poggers. Yeeny, you are uh, welcome to call me your little pog champ if you would like. Got a prismatic shard and some iridium ore. That's excellent. Actually, a high-quality purple mushroom. 
have another 300 megs of reaction images and a buttload of stuff I haven't made reaction images of. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. How large is that folder? The, uh, the yet-to-be-processed folder. Two more floors, I think we can make it. Especially with the uh, minecart repaired, I can get home real fast. That's a new combat level, very nice. Yeah, I have a very hard time believing uh, Yini's anime screen cap folder is only a few gigs. She has one for every occasion, it seems. Another 300 megs of unprocessed and a folder I'm sorted stuff, some of which may be reaction image worthy, about 1.1 gig. I see. Alright, I am running out of time. Oh, but there's good shit. Alright. Kill the bat. Grab the ruby. Finish the mine. There we go. We have reached the bottom. Strange key. You found the skull key! You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. And that's it. Were you expecting a boss fight? Too bad. Like most things in life, you will grind and grind and grind, sacrifice a whole lot, you know, put up a whole bunch of your time, and it will end in an anticlimax. Not a question of having a lot of stuff, but having the right stuff. It's not the size, it's it's how you use it. Hmm. Might actually use the pomegranate jelly for the uh, Grange display. Um, probably throw blueberries in. Nice. I did the skeleton wallpaper mostly to make a uh, Yennefer feel at home. Level 7 mining. Okay. Decent return from the bok choy. Actually, yeah, most of it was the pomegranate jelly and the mayonnaise and yeah, good stuff. I'm certain we feel very at home there. Aww. Yep. Lots of skeletons on the wall. Remind you of uh, snapping bones open, sucking the marrow out. Gonna be cloudy with gust of winds tomorrow. How's my fortune? Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Sure. Okay. 
Okay. Dump most of this shit in. No, the bat wings go in the other one. Do more of the wood. Rubies. Place all the red mushroom and the mayonnaise. This all goes in there. Sure. Oh, and I need to pick up my tools. I forgot to do. I forgot to put the animals away last night. They're running around willy nilly. Yeah, maybe I'll give the cows a break today. Let them let them calm their tits a little bit. Duck mayo, some cheese, ruby, diamond, iridium bar, pomegranate jelly. I'm thinking I need to catch a couple cool fish. Um, and maybe, yeah, maybe like a gold star pumpkin or something uh, in there. And I think we'll have a nice balance. We should win. Should win the uh, the Grange display. Yennefer looking very wise over there, as cats do. Love it when the furball's just sitting there like it knows the secret of the universe or something. See, on that note, I think I will, uh, I think I'll go fishing at the mountain lake today because, if I recall correctly, the most valuable thing you can fish up during the fall is sturgeon. So, if I can get a good sturgeon at the lake, like a sturgeon touched for the very first time. Have a plum, Linus. It's a great gift. Thank you. Yep. Linus is easy. Linus is easy. I'm happy by myself, you know. I don't need new friends. Alright, well. See if I bring you any more food. Just kidding. I'll still bring Linus more food. He's a sweetie. Yeah, if I can snag a good iridium quality fish, that would probably be good for the Grange display. And then I'm thinking, yeah, like Gold Star Pumpkin. Hmm. What else? What else? You'd think that cooking is good to do for the Grange displays, but uh, it's not, if I recall. Hmm. 
might have to uh, might have to make an offering to Minerva here and figure out if I'm uh, if I'm barking up the wrong tree. You might it might need to be raining or something to get sturgeon. This feels like a carp. Yep. Big carp. Lost book and a sonar bobber. Shows what fish is on the line before it's caught. Nice. During summer and winter, it says. Okay, well, I'm really wasting my time then. Hmm. All right, then. Um. Ooh. You know what might be a possibility? Let's see. Perhaps the nitrogen fixation level is affected by nematode secretions. Oh, sorry. I was pondering some data. Didn't notice you there. Do you need anything? Nope. Nope. You can, uh, you can get back to your spectrum, Demetrius. I shall pester you no further. I think I managed to pick up all of the uh, stuff for the fall foraging bundle just uh, walking here. Sure did. Man, I am not not really doing the uh, the fishing. I should probably, yeah, I should probably get my ass in gear on this, honestly. Sardine, tuna, red snapper, and tilapia. There are red snapper. Okay, uh, yeah, I've got a largemouth bass. I've got a carp. Bullhead and a sturgeon. Okay. Right, the crab pot stuff. See, so yeah, if I can't catch sturgeon, I might be able to catch tuna in the ocean. So a really good tuna would probably be a, probably be impressive enough. Hmm. Got the urge to make my famous giant omelet, but I'll need two dozen eggs. Any takers? Let's see, I have nine days to do that. Um, yeah. Alright, we can hold all of our eggs for Gus. Oh. Hello, Inky. Nice day, isn't it? I'm just keeping an eye on my little brother. It's good for him to get some fresh air on a day like this. Shouldn't he be in school? Oh, I guess it's a Saturday. Never mind. Our dad used to take us to the beach on sunny days like this. Sam? Is dad ever going to come home? <laughs> uh... Of course, Vince. Dad's gonna come back as soon as he possibly can. <laughs> I heard some grown-ups saying that uh, that all of our troops are getting shot to pieces. <laughs> uh, don't believe everything you hear. Report them to the nearest democracy officer. They're defeatists. Don't you remember how strong Dad is? He'd never let a pathetic Gotoro grunt get him like that. Don't you worry. Always remember that Mom and I are here to play with you if you ever feel lonely. None of eggs to feed Gaston. <laughs> uh...
Okay. It's three dozen eggs for Gaston, yes. That's how he gets large. To be honest, I have no idea if my old man will come back. We've all read the reports. Our soldiers are falling by the thousands. Damn. What am I going to say to Vincent? Four, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, you did the right thing. No, don't, uh... Kids should have hope. Yeah. Kids should play and have fun while they still have the chance. Did I tell you the band's starting to come together? Yeah, it turns out Abigail's a pretty good drummer, and Sebastian seemed to really want her in the band. Gee, I wonder why. So yeah, maybe the uh, maybe the war with the Gatoro Empire not uh, not necessarily going the best. Yeah, uh, I have faith. I have faith in our brave soldiers. Dude, the Stardew Valley deep lore is great. <laughs> Like the whole, yeah, there's a jewels of the sea, fishing chests, treasure chests have a chance to yield row. Okay, cool. We take that. Nope. Should probably repair the bridge on the beach here, too. Then again, if I want to get the deluxe coop, maybe not. Sea jelly. Freaky. Freaky, freaky, freaky. I do wish I was as good as a, at expectorating as uh, Gaston is, though. It's impressive. Genuinely impressive. I see why LeFou is gay for him, honestly. Man who can spit like that? Goodness. Apparently the uh, guy who, uh, well, guys who play Gaston at, like, the Disney land, Disney World properties, they, uh, they tend to get harassed by women at a, at a very high rate. It's, uh, a little depressing. Because, you know, typically they'll, they'll cast a pretty muscular guy to, to do it. I mean, it, it's Gaston. But yeah, apparently, uh, the Gaston, uh, character is a, is a particular target of a harassment from the visitors at the Disney properties. It's... How drunk do you have to be, I wonder? Especially when you know that uh, Gaston LeFou is the uh, one true pairing. Hags, get out. Mm -hmm. 
Stardew Valley Almanac. Read this to gain some farming experience. Oh yes, I think I will. I've learned a few things about farming. Not having a ton of luck in the ocean. Maybe, uh, maybe tuna doesn't spawn, uh, this time of year after all. So, what I think I'm gonna do, I might, uh, might offer a little sacrifice to, uh, Minerva here. Oh, wise one, reveal the secrets of the universe uh, to me. Alright. Show me, uh, show me the fall fish. I would like to see what I can catch during the fall. Is that, is that too much to ask? Apparently that's too much to ask. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, I could catch a, an eel on a rainy day. Oh. Huh. could catch a super cucumber that is something that I could do have to fish at night though yeah the pickings are kind of slim for good fish unfortunately more broccoli seeds A little late for that, wouldn't you say? I'll hold on to him because I think I am just going to gonna pass all the broccoli through a seed maker. Guess I could turn in some of the fish. See, you are after a sardine, and that's all I got for you. And I have that iridium quality uh, largemouth bass. That one's not bad. We might uh, we might tentatively put that in the Grange display. All right. See, I need to uh, I need to fish at night if I want to get a super cucumber. See, I'm thinking if I can get like a gold star super cucumber, that'll probably be better than uh, than the iridium quality largemouth bass. Um, yeah. Actually, I think you wanna you wanna cast really far out for these, so we'll go to this end of the dock. It's a little further out. Let's see if we can catch us a super cucumber. Come on. Come on, you fish lip bastard. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this feels like a super cute. Yeah. Yep, this feels like a super cute. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. An albacore. Hmm. Depending on the quality there, that might actually be worth uh, doing instead of the bass. Gold star. I think I got that, uh, that last albacore was iridium quality, so we might go with that. Might go with that. If I can't catch a good super cucumber. The Gaston song stuck in my head. Thank you, Yeni. Trash. So much trash. Trash is delicious, though. Just got done watching some anime that was kind of trash. This is it. This is a super cucumber. Almost certainly. Either that or it's a real pain in the ass albacore. Wow, okay. Got what stuck in my head? The, the Gaston song. <laughs> the no one uh, blanks like Gaston. I don't even know the words to it, I just have the uh, the general idea of the melody it's stuck in my head. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. The only line I really uh, remember from that song is... Uh, yeah, that he eats four dozen eggs to get large, and uh, he's especially good at expectorating. Yeah, so I have some iridium quality albacore. Those are... Well... I could test it. All right, yeah, I'll sell the uh, I'll sell the gold star bass and the gold star albacore and see which one uh, sells for more. I've got U A stuck in my head. Um, U A. Hmm. The one I sent the other. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Cockle. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the uh, 
Not gonna do the fall seeds. Sonar bobbers pointless. We'll keep the seaweed so we can make some sushi. Oh yeah, the eggplant needs to go to the uh, community center bundle. And I did want to hold on to the uh, broccoli seeds. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that one you're referring to, which uh, must not be named, uh, yeah. it's pretty catchy. It's pretty catchy. Eni's uh, doing wonders with the uh, AI-generated music. All right, so let's see what's sold for more. Largemouth bass, uh, they, oh, actually, okay, yeah, the albacore, gold star albacore went for 140, largemouth bass went for 187, so, uh, yeah, we'll do the iridium largemouth bass. Gonna be cloudy with gusts of wind. Okay. Spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Hey, hey. Tortillas. How many of you are gnawing on a microwave convenience burrito while watching this program? Shame on you! Might as well wrap your beans in an old wash rag. Now listen up. Once you've tried my fresh rustic corn tortillas, you'll never go back. Wonderful. I could do sashimi. I think I wanted to get some rice and make a maki roll because that's part of the uh, part of the community center bundle. Okay, so yeah, so all the albacore. <laughs> Silence horse. What? What? I'm, I'm. I didn't even. I didn't even say anything. I didn't even say anything. Unless you count me uh, mentioning that you're doing cool stuff with the uh, AI generated music. To be saying too much. I don't think it is. Just is what it is, Heeny. Should be proud of it. I won't actually show them the song or anything. how much time the sprinklers save you. It's not even funny. Um, Alright, so I do have a prismatic shard. I know exactly what I'm going to do with that first one. 
Uh, it does require us getting to the uh, to the desert, though. So, not sure Marnie uh, works on Sundays. I'm not sure Marnie works most days, but I think what I'd like to do is get some goats. Get some goats and we will uh, start saving up for the uh, deluxe coops. We can get some rabbits. You know, thinking about it, I bet I know why Yini doesn't want me saying anything about uh, that song whose name she blanked out. Bet I know. I bet I know. You could probably guess. You could probably guess. If you knew Yini well enough, you might be able to guess why she doesn't want uh, me saying anything about it. Hate that. Hate that when it falls the wrong way. There we go. Yet here you are still talking about it. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, no. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it shut the fuck up. Common wisdom of the ages. Hey, cherries. Nice. <laughs> Not sure I know what you're implying, but you can tell me later. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Chat pesters me enough. I might. Uh, I might spill the beans. Maybe someday I'll tell you all. Maybe someday I'll tell you all exactly why she doesn't want it getting out. You seem like the kind of person who would keep uh, un-canned <laughs> beans in your pockets. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't spill spaghetti. I spill beans. All right. I think uh, these can all be used for the exotic foraging bundle. I can maybe finish it out. I need to turn the eggplant into the community center anyways. And I think I want to crack some geodes open, so let's go do that. We'll see. I'm not sure Clint works on Sundays, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot. I gather 24 eggs, put them in Gus's fridge. Hey, hey. Working hard or hardly working, Clint? 
Totem Mountains. Warp Totem Farm. Okay, not terribly exciting. A lot of good places to walk around here. Feels good to stretch your legs. Thanks, Leah. God, can you imagine marrying Leah? Can you imagine it? Or no, this is an exotic foraging. Um, it's going to be in the Artisan Bundle. Yeah! Ch cherry. Just need to... Yeah. I have apples growing right now, so we can close this one out. And then I just need a large goat milk. And, and five uh, gold star pumpkins. Cannot forget to turn those in. I mean, it's no big deal. I'll just do five gold star parsnips uh, in the spring if I need to. But I'd rather not. Okay. Eggplant deposited. Warping directly to the mountains. Probably the most useless warp totem. I think I'll, think I'll just sell that. Thank you very much. Hmm. Kind of doubt. Kind of doubt Marnie's at her shop anymore, but we'll give it a shot. If she's not, I think I might actually buy a couple fruit trees. Get the, uh... Wow! Look at that! Marnie's actually where she's supposed to be. Give me goats. <laughs> uh... Uh, what should our naming uh, theme be for the goats? I named all the cows after uh, cuts of meat. Um, you know what? We'll name the goats for the sides. So we could do like uh, okra. How's Horsopolis Farms doing? Pretty damn good. We'll do okra, we'll do a uh, salad. We'll do fries, of course. It's fries with your, uh, oh, fuck off, really? My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Okra seems cautious but a little curious. It's a strange new world. I cannot fucking believe you did that to me, Marnie. Salad? Well, as so long as you don't toss it. Yeah, don't toss a goat. Don't toss a goat. Also, hello, Space Lord.
All right, let's go turn the apple into the community center. Be done with the, uh, be done with the artisan. I think it's the artisan bundle. That's what it's called. Today I'm just going to relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? Never. Sigma Farmer Grind Set. Hmm. What were you trying to do? I was trying to buy a fourth frickin' goat, but Marnie walked away from me. A keg. Hey, nice. Place a fruit or vegetable in here, eventually it will turn into a beverage. Chili wine. <laughs> um, huh, that's a good point, actually. I wonder what happens with... I think the vegetables turn into juice, so we would just get, like, a chili juice, which also sounds uh, stupid enough to try. Let's see what happens. I have some chilies still lying around just to satisfy Yini's morbid curiosity. Yep, it works. We'll see what we get. Chili wine. The really fucked up thing is, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. It's actually a thing around here. We have the green chilies. Some madman made wine out of them. To, yeah, this is actually a decent amount of arable land. Chili soda, it would be huge in certain countries like Karumba. Hmm. Chili soda. What is a stardew, though? What is a man? Featherless biped, miserable pile of secrets. All of the above. Okay. All right, see, so yeah, I have fall, I have summer, we'll get spring going. And yeah, not going to sell any of the eggs, not going to make mayonnaise out of any of the, uh, well, chicken eggs at least. You can get Nevada Reaper chili pepper soda in Florida. I've not heard of a Nevada Reaper before. Heard of a Carolina Reaper. Heard of a Reaper Reaper.
Like the kind that uh, Commander Cheekbones Shepard really hates, but uh... Man? That question has been answered. Man is the pog to the god. Uh-huh. You saying that Nam made the man? Or definitely, uh, definitely had a few teachers who were uh, very much shaped by Nam. Looks like a storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. Exciting. Thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening me. Spirit's somewhat annoyed today. Sure, sure, sure. It's blackberry season. Bushes across the countryside are overflowing with ripe fruit. Just go outside and see for yourself. Not in my backyard. Florida Reaper is what hangs out around the retirement villages. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is God's waiting room. Hello. It's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Sure, Linus. It's infused with Carolina Reaper, but the name of the soda is Nevada Reaper. Oh, I see. I thought the I thought the chili in question was a Nevada Reaper. Hmm. Got some amaranth. Now I can do questionable things on the internet. All right, I do need to give a uh, do need to give an amaranth to yeah to Marnie. Um, and I think I remember exactly where Linus is. Uh, berry basket is when the uh, homeless man asks you to take a look at his uh, berry basket it's time to run Mossy seed. It's like the grassy knoll, the mossy seed. Sure, we'll uh we'll dump you right here. You know what I wonder, actually? I'm not sure I'm going to be able to complete this uh, quest that Gus has. If he's just looking for normal eggs, I wonder if the large eggs are even going to count. Conductor, we, uh, we might have a problem. Okay, I need to pick up 24 seeds, uh, something. Why do I not plant? All right. Um, if I recall correctly. Linus's berry basket is uh right around here. And since it's going to be thunderbolts and lightning very very frightening tomorrow, I might craft a, a lightning rod. 
so none of my crops get schlonged. What all is involved in that? It's iron bar, refined quartz, and some bat wings. I really don't understand why we need bat wings for a lightning rod, but uh, we'll roll with it. Of course, batteries, indeed. Oh. We're actually let the chimkins out. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, before I forget, we'll probably go bring the amaranth to Marnie. And then I think, yeah, shoot up through town, get some seeds, uh, hit Linus on the way back, give him his berry basket. Oh yeah. Pick up all of the blackberries too. Haley's too involved with her camera to notice you. Marnie's nowhere to be found. There you are. Well, the amaranth I asked for. Thank you so much. My cows are going to love this. I will accept your gratitude in any denomination, but tens and twenties especially, especially welcome. Yeah, 500 gold. 500 gold. Gratitude accepted. Oh yeah, other thing I wanted to try. Supposed to put the eggs in Gus's fridge for this uh, big order we have, so kind of want kind of want to see if he, if it will accept large eggs. Yep, sure enough. Actually, from the look of the uh, amount that we've collected, it would accept uh, duck eggs as well. Looking for someone to bring me 15 iron ores for inspection. Probably not going to be doing that. Also, hi, Lewis. Some of the townsfolk are wary of strangers. You'll have to win their trust before they open up to you. Uh, naked bribery, the best way to do that. I uh, could plant more uh, pumpkins. I think I got yams going already. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? I'll do more pumpkins. Pretty sure the pumpkins are the uh, are the best profit margin. Oh, well, maybe the cranberries. But yeah, only if you plant the cranberries at the start of the season, so you know you can get a whole bunch of harvests, so on and so forth. Pumpkin pie. Hmm. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm more of a pecan pie sort of person myself, but uh, yeah. P 
pumpkin pie can be uh, quite enjoyable. So, it's a big harvest season, isn't it? During this time of year, I divert my attentions to fungi. Yeah, you sound like a real fungi. Alright, so Linus. Where you at, buddy? Hmm. You could be uh, huddling by the uh, sauna for warmth, as the homeless people do. Yes, sure enough. My basket! Thank you. This means a lot to me. Sure it does, bud. Sure it does. See, even though you said you don't want to be friends, I still do nice things for you. <laughs> I collect mold spores and fungus. Uh, you spangler. Uh-huh. Yeah, probably just want to keep uh, keep collecting stone and wood. I think I need twenty thousand to get the uh, get the super coop. So depending on uh, depending on how much I make from this, what I sold off some cranberries, I'll probably have enough tomorrow. Of course, it's Tuesday, so Robin's gonna go off to her stupid aerobics class. So we need to go first thing in the morning. If we're gonna get Robin to build a coop for us. I think she's manning the, the counter in the morning at least. God, how dare the shopkeepers have lives. We should be entirely devoted to, uh, to my service. Actually, pop into the secret forest and pick up the hardwood. Um, it's just thinking I need a uh, hundred hardwood to expand my house. Need another hundred hardwood to get the stable, and I really want to get the stable. Tired of using these clumsy feet. Need to uh, need to get around on glorious hooves. As is fitting and appropriate. in here. I'm just really glad I'm out of the early game where you ran out of uh, you run out of stamina so fast. Unless I'm just working uh, endlessly, I'm I'm not usually running out of stamina. That's a wonderful thing. hardwood right now. Hmm. 
Part of me is kind of bummed out that you can't like cut down the uh, the really old majestic trees that are uh, that are around. Like there's that one uh, right in front of the lake. There's the other one right next to the uh, Adventurers Guild. At the same time, I think the Junimos would probably get a little pissed at you. Which the Junimos should be pissed at you if you take the JoJo route, anyways. So. Chanterelle is uh, part of the exotic uh, foraging bundle, so we'll hold on to that. Pine cones are not. Okay. Yeah, just gonna hold the wooden stone. We'll head straight to Robin's as soon as we can. Just need to make like 2,500 on the day, which I think I will. Hey, hey! Level 10 farming, baby. So, artisan goods worth 40% more, or all crops grow 10% faster. Um, they made the they made the choice a little more difficult. It used to be it was artisan hands down. Um, I think in the last major update, they kind of updated the uh, the profession choices. So yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Like ten percent uh, faster crop growth, that's very very helpful, especially for the stuff that like grows and can be harvested a, a bunch of times. Uh, but mm, your big money maker is artisan goods, wine, cheese, oil, that sort of thing, and uh, having it be worth forty percent more is just it's impossible to uh yeah, it's impossible to to beat that really. Oh yeah, we got the amaranth, we got the cranberries. Looks like it hasn't kicked in yet. It'll kick in tomorrow. <laughs> I never did make a lightning rod, did I? Well, let's see if I can get away with it today. So yeah, iron bar, refined quartz, and a, some bat wing. Have some iron bars, need to make some refined quartz. So let's do that. Nope. Or batteries. Fair enough. Well, hopefully we'll get a we'll get we'll get another storm before the uh, season is over. That is a bummer. That is a bummer. Durinky! One week from today, we're holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. It's the biggest event of the year, drawing people from all across the country to our humble town. If you'd like, you can set up a Grange display for the event. Just bring up to nine items that best showcase your talents. You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. The fair starts at 9 a.m. Don't miss it. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Pierre needs to learn some humility. Okay, 
So yeah, I need the ten wheat for uh, for one of the uh, community center bundles. So we will throw that in there. Also. Used to be you could uh, pick up as much wheat as you or as much hay as you wanted from the hoppers, but apparently not today. All right, moving, we're moving, we're moving. DIY. Mm. Craft 15 different items. I've only crafted 15 items. That's a little difficult to believe. Alright, we'll, uh... We'll just make a uh, line of uh, lightning rods here. Okay, I need to pick up some seeds today. Uh, what else? Right. Just gonna haul ass over to Robin's before the aerobics class starts. Go in there, iron goes in there, groovy. Some weather, huh? Yeah, how about you go out on this and build me a uh, build me a better coop? Okay, I'll start working on your coop upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. What? You scared to do it in this weather? Fine. Maybe batteries. Maybe batteries. We'll see. Yeah, honestly, my primary concern is just making sure my crops don't get smoked. So, uh, it looks like they're doing their job on that front. That's all I can really ask for. go uh oh especially because it's raining cannabis farmers always want their crop to get smoked yeah this is true this is true <laughs> there's a uh i don't know why i was surprised to learn that there is a, a cannabis mod for uh, stardew valley but uh yeah obviously such a thing exists and uh 
Obviously, someone put in a, a great deal of effort on it. It's quite impressive, honestly. So since it's raining, I believe I can catch some cool stuff. I think my best bet is at the beach. Um... Let's see. Fish and pull fish. Show me fall. I can catch him at, I can catch salmon. Ooh. Salmon. Uh-huh. Catch walleye in the river. Interesting. Well, actually, that's part of the, uh, ooh, I should probably do that. Mountain Lake, uh-huh. And yes, you can catch eel in the ocean. So we're going to try and catch, uh, we're going to try and catch an eel, and we're going to try and catch a walleye today. I think is how I want to handle this. So, the walleye is available now. Can get it from the river, but uh, probably better to get it from the lake. Stuff you catch in the river, especially in town, really sucks. It's shriveled and polluted and gross. Eels are a pain in the posterior. Yeah, I've got a... I've got, I got seven fishing skill. I'm hoping that's enough. Hoping I can squeak it out at least. We'll see. One of the truths of being a streamer is that a uh, failure is often entertaining. So. Yeah, let's see if we can catch a walleye here. This one is only available while it's raining. Hey, alright, excellent. Freshwater fish caught at night. And we'll head to the beach, we'll repair the bridge, and we will try to catch us an eel. If I can get a if I can get a good eel, um, that'll probably be better for the for the Stardew Valley Fair uh, display than the, uh, than the bass I'm holding on to. Almost forgot I needed to buy seeds today, too. It's Farmer Inky! Sure is. Um, yeah, give me some more yams. Why not? Looking for jade. Cash payment on delivery. I have jade lying around. I am what I am. Mm-hmm. Strong to the spinach. Or strong, strong to the finish because I ate my spinach. Groovy. Alright, so yeah, the sea urchins are part of uh, one of the community center bundles. Most excellent. Hello, strange man with a sombrero, old mariner. I've got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, lad. Okay. Do 
Do I want to hear the story of how you got the amulet? Probably not. It's probably tremendously depressing. But yeah, let's see if we can get us an eel here. Red Snapper, that's what I need for the bundle, so very nice. Uh, this could be an eel. Oh no, it's maybe not. Yep, that's an eel. Excellent. And it's Gold Star. See if we can get a radium quality. <laughs> this book and a magma geode. Nice. Gold Star TM Medicated Powder. Mm-hmm. Old Mariner. Mmm, Marinara. We actually use that kind of thing here in Florida for reasons. Oh, I am uh, well aware of the reasons. Well aware of the reasons. The Everglades are uh, not the only swamp. Had a, uh, had a relative who was uh, stationed at Guantanamo Bay, you know, in Cuba. He, uh, he became very, uh, he became very, very well acquainted with the uh, need for, uh, need for gold bond. Oops. Kind of hoping for uh, more than one shot at an eel, but uh, just makes me very glad that we managed to reel in the one we got. Here's another eel. Okay. Stick with it, stick with it. Try moving. Yeah. They're both gold star. It would be it would be pretty difficult to get one perfect, and I think I might need to get it perfect to get it iridium quality. So we'll call that good. We will uh donate one to the community center, have the other one for the uh for the county fair. 
I think that'll be a, that'll be a good one. Yeah, the walleye. Oh, walleye and the eel are what else I need for night fishing. Cool. A glow ring. Okay. <laughs> One week old eel. Delicious. Yeah. We're gonna... <laughs> Do keep in mind, I also have two week old cheese and duck mayonnaise. It's uh, gonna really knock their socks off, I think. Mm. Oh yeah, you wanted a red snapper, you tuna and tilapia. I think the uh, dye bundle wanted a sea urchin. Excellent. Fodder bundle wanted... Da, 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 da. There we go. Just need some hay for that. Oh, you know what? The chanterelle is part of the, uh... Oh yeah, it's part of the exotic foraging bundle. I haven't done that one yet. Or it's not. Could have sworn. Oh, fair enough. Alright, I'm going to be interested to see if, uh, if yes battery. Because they were, uh, they were undulating, the, uh, the lightning rods, that is. So I'm thinking maybe yes battery. Yeah, they're all uh, they're all going now. I don't know. I'm hopeful. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, thinking maybe Gold Star Pumpkin for sure. Um, might keep the largemouth bass just as a. Uh, Just as a backup. Dot, dot, dot. What? Are you surprised that, uh, yes, battery?
I will not tell what those undulating rods look like. Uh, for the best. For the best. Gus wind, okay. Spirits feel neutral today. Yeah, I already know how to cook baked fish. I've got a new item in stock. It's called the Auto Grabber. This thing can milk your cows and goats, shear your sheep, gather eggs, and pluck your woolly rabbits all on its own. It's considered a luxury item, so I'm charging 25,000 gold, Marnie. But I will say they look Daedric. <laughs> yeah. Daedric Daikatana. Nice. Okay, we got some broccoli. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna hold on to the broccoli. And actually I should, uh, sh what's involved in a seed maker? Um, I know it's out there. Where are you at? There you are. Okay, 25 wood, 10 coal, and a gold bar. Uh, I'm gonna be limited by the coal more than anything. Hey, hey, yes, battery. Some oak resin, too. <laughs> Lieutenant Broccoli. The guy who wrote James Bond? Nope. I didn't want that much hay, but it does serve my purposes. Yeah, yeah, duck eggs totally count for uh, for this quest we have from Gus. How about that? Interesting. So oak resin is important. Let's you uh, make kegs, and we're gonna need a lot of kegs here real soon. Oops. All right. So yeah, honestly, uh, next thing to probably be working towards is unlocking the desert, um, which we just need to uh, just need to raise a bunch of cash for that. The uh, bus to the desert gets repaired if you uh, if you finish the money bundles at the uh, community center. So I think it'll take me another. Let's see, did I do like the five thousand one? So it'll take me another thirty-seven thousand five hundred gold. If memory's serving here. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Iridium eggs, good for the fair. Um, yeah, possibly. Hey, a heater, nice. Keeps your animals warmer and happier during the winter. That is something I need to buy and get set up before the winter. Let's see. Okay. It's uh, 5,000, 10,000, and 25,000. So we need 40,000 gold to uh, to unlock the, uh, the desert bus. Uh, do I do the 5,000 gold right now? Sure. 30 quality fertilizer. We'll find a use for that. What did you say? It's 11.30 a.m. already? My goodness. Still have tons of work to do. I know the feeling. If, I mean, when my dad gets back, I wonder if he'll be the same as I remember him. Uh, yeah, yeah, people, uh, people tend to come back just fine after, you know, watching all of their buddies die horribly. Should be just fine there, Sam. All right. One last go. Chunu. <laughs> uh, we were doing sides. Uh, let's see. I did okra salad fries. What else is a good side for a uh, steak? Oh, potato. Of course. I'll send little potato to her new home right away. Uh-huh. I have a, a goat named Potato. How do you think Porsopolis Farm is going? Hey, give me another heater. Yeah, I'm wondering if Iridium eggs are going to be better than, like, a, uh, like the golden duck mayonnaise that I have. I'm thinking no. Wait till you get dinos. There we go. Yeah, that's that's the real prime time. That'll work. A rich yellow mayonnaise. Yeah. Don't know if that sounds a don't know if that sounds appealing, but apparently duck mayonnaise really is like a a, a luxury Luxury food stuff. I don't know about that. Alright. Yeah, I think I need to just cut down a few more trees. So yeah, before fall ends, I need to plant some uh, spring spring app uh, or spring fruit trees. Forget what the spring trees are. I think cherries and uh, apricots, maybe.
gold bar and it was coal. Cool. Running really low on coal. That's not good. Okay. Nice. This is good to have. So what we can do... We can now... Where's the broccoli? Where was the broccoli? Oh, in my inventory. Can feed the broccoli into the seed maker now. We can make some broccoli seeds and next uh, next year, next fall, we'll have a, an entire field of broccoli. I'm gonna do the same with the strawberries I've been holding on to since uh, since spring. So I have a lone tomato there for some reason. There we go. So yeah, six broccoli seeds from that. Mayonnaise made with duck eggs has a richer flavor and a thicker texture. It's also higher in fat and cholesterol than chicken egg mayonnaise. Of course. Of course. That's why it's tastier, you know? Tastes better, therefore it must be worse for you. It's the way the world works. How much hay do I have in my silo? 185 out of 240. Uh, is that going to be enough to survive the uh, winter? It's not. Oh, I need to build another silo before winter. Crap. The eggs off here so I'm not a uh, they're not taking up space in my chests. Halfway there. Or more than halfway there. Still got five days to spare. Hopefully I get a hopefully I get an omelet out of this. Um Yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and enable Pam's soul crushing addiction here. Yeah, this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. You're welcome. And yeah, let me pick up a jade and run it to Demetrius here. Almost certain I have some lying around. Be, be shocked if I didn't have a jade lying around. Jade, Amber, Ruby. Uh, there's a Jade. Cool. <laughs> he should just be at home. Winky, so you saw the notice I posted. It looks perfect. Here's your payment as promised. Absolutely. And the cash was a little offset. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. By all means, Demetrius, you're always welcome.
Oh, hello. Oh no. <laughs> Inky, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. Sure thing. <laughs> I was hoping you'd come by sometime. I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. But you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. And I consider you a good friend. Ah. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. Come inside the tent. Oh no. Squish, squish, squish. Russell, Russell, Russell. Squish, 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 squish. Splurt. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. <laughs> it's top quality stuff. I'd eat it myself. Uh -huh. Here, I want you to have the recipe. Hooray. Learned how to craft wild bait. It was a wild bait indeed. Where? Where even are you, Linus? I wanted to wanted to give you a mushroom, but I think you already kind of gave me a mushroom. Uh, I can't believe that. I can't believe that event is in the game. <laughs> uh, I, I remember the first time I saw that event. That was, um, it was special. It was very, very special. Linus is a, Linus is a special person. So yeah, I need to uh, I need to build a new silo a new silo before uh, uh, I can speak I can use words yeah I need to build a new silo before winter because uh, yeah I'm not gonna have enough storage for all of the hay I need for the animals to survive. Wanted to say thanks for taking an interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe that I like: fried mushroom. Sounds delicious. I'm a big mushroom fan. Some people get turned off by the taste uh, of mushrooms. Not me. Not me. I'm, a, I'm all about it. That uh, kind of earthy taste. I don't know. My mom's someone who doesn't like them. She says it's like eating dirt, which, I mean, I guess it, it definitely is an earthy taste for sure. Yennefer loves you. Aww. The heart should be black, but aww. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll start uh start working on making the uh, strawberry seeds. <laughs> Me word good. Yeah. Oh, is the uh, YouTube filter giving you grief? I uh, I could see it. Uh, I could see it being touchy with that uh, with that Linus event that just played. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, nice. Okay. So, we can actually accommodate... Uh, we can accommodate rabbits now. Uh, I don't think we can afford a rabbit. But we can accommodate them. Yeah, goal is going to be to get uh, 24 strawberry seeds, so then I can plant like a whole, whole row of sprinklers with strawberries on a uh, spring one. Maximize our profits. Actually, strawberries are fantastic to just grow in the uh, greenhouse all year round. Damn good profit. I mean, you're better off doing like ancient fruit or star fruit or something, but you know, strawberries are easy. the milk pail out anyways. What next? Wow. Seed maker worked fast. I'm gonna try and be a cheapskate and just pop one in there. Hope we get two. Uh, hope we get two seeds out of it. And if we do, then I can just sell the rest of these strawberries. You know. Oh no, we get the worst outcome: wild seeds. It gave me three. Wonderful. So much stuff to spend gold on. I need to get some spring uh, trees planted before the season's over. I need to buy some rabbits. Man, yeah. It's too much to do. Too much to do. Mm -hmm. 
saloon gets pretty lively at night. Well, at least as far as, uh, need purple mushroom to enjoy with some fresh bread. Alright, you know what, Clint? I'll go down into the mines and look for a purple mushroom just for you. Actually, if I could find two, that would be fantastic, because I need one for the community center. Sorry, I was uh, kind of yawning there. Um, hmm. So the mushroom floor kind of changes. Uh, gonna go to 90. See if I can maybe get one. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, you can't do this to me. I'm pretty sure this was a mushroom floor, and I got locked out of it. Son of a bitch! Not sticking around to deal with the bat spam. Yeah, mushroom floor. Nice. My guess was good. Now we just see if we're lucky enough to find uh, two purple mushrooms. Sure enough, we are. I can't believe I guessed where the mushroom uh, floor would be. I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of that. I mean, it was dumb luck. There's nothing really to be proud of, but still. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Rare Incatatus win. Big W. Got out before the bat spam became a problem. Just gonna check this floor for any gold. Nope. Sometimes Clint is at the bar. We'll see. Maybe not on a Thursday night. I don't think he's that much of an alky, but we can see. Nope. No Clint. Alright. We'll turn it in tomorrow then. So yeah, a cactus fruit coconut, which we can get by going to the desert. Also, like maple syrup, oak resin, and pine tar, which we get from tapping uh, trees. 
and a morale, which uh, I think can rarely spawn in the forest. Maybe during fall. We might get lucky and find that one. Shad, tiger trout, sandfish, wood skip, and pufferfish. I think the pufferfish has to be spring. Yeah, we're well on our way. We are well on our way. I just, yeah, I have way too much stuff I need to spend money on. If only I could enter into the uh, perpetual cycle of crushing debt that most uh, actual farmers live under. Make things a lot easier if I had a thousand uh, gold right about now. Hundred thousand gold. Consequences be damned. Okay. I forget when exactly the fair is. That you can uh, you can get a calendar in your home, and I think I'm going to do that uh, as soon as I can. I think you buy it from Robin. Let's see. Yeah, I mean we're we're not doing bad. We're not doing bad. Yeah, those mushrooms are worth a lot. So probably, probably want to pick up some rabbits if I can. I think I can maybe afford two. I think they're 5,000 each. That sounds right. Maybe cloudy with gusts of wind. These are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Fair enough. What you need? From what I can tell, you've been taking really good care of your pet. I'm really happy about that. But there are many sweet animals that need a home. If you're interested, I'll start offering pet adoptions at my shop. Just be aware that there is a licensing fee and also that each pet will want their own outdoor pet bowl area or else they'll be unhappy. Robin will be happy to construct additional pet bowls for a price. See you soon, Marnie. Aha. Uh -huh. So we can get a friend for Yennefer if we wanted to. Oh! She gave me a gift! Oh my god, she brought a dead thing home and gave me a gift. Oh, I love you. I love the kitty. I love the kitty cat. She's so good. She's the best kitty. Oh, the goats are mature. Well, most of the goats are mature. Commence to milking. I'm gonna need to make more cheese machines. Like, seriously. Uh, takes wood, stone, hardwood, and a copper bar. Start making some goat cheese. Oh. 
Always forget about the chickens. It's really, uh, really not a good look. Ooh, and the grapes have grown. Mm. So the hilarious thing is, I think if you, uh, if you put the grapes in, like, a keg, it does not give you wine. You need the cask for that. Keep making the duck mayonnaise. And then I think... Yeah, I have enough, uh, have enough eggs to finish, finish Gus's quest here. Hmm. Oh, is that the purple mushroom I requested? Really appreciate it. Here's a little something for your trouble. Thank you, Clint. Let's uh, see what wondrous prize we receive. Oh no, mom's making lentil soup tonight. Hey. Nothing, uh, nothing gets you going. Anyone who ships a hundred bok choy by the end of the season will earn a substantial reward from Pelican Town Agricultural Fund. Ship 100 bok choy, okay. Hello there, for an upcoming promotion I'm thinking of offering some high quality vegetables at a slight premium. No worry, thrifty shopkeep might find 25 gold star vegetables. Hmm. I think I can grow 100 bok choy. It only take four days, so it's not bad. Ding. Holy crap, what a ripoff. Get those out of my inventory. Ten mixed seeds. Last time they gave me a peach tree. This time they give me ten mixed seeds. Bored, could someone bring me green algae, Abby? What are you going to do with the uh, green algae? I'm, 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 a, I'm a little... Little concerned more than anything, honestly. I mean, I'll do it, but I'm a little concerned. All right, so yeah. Probably just crappy casts into the uh, lake here will get me some algae pretty quick. Bullhead, you were something I needed for the uh, community center actually, pretty sure. Elwick said my luck sucked today. You should uh, give me some algae here. Mm. 
Whoa. Well, you're a slippery one. Maybe a bullhead? No, just a bass, huh? Gave me about all I could handle. I just want some algae. Abigail's a freak. I just want some algae. River jelly. Just uh, stay away from the desert jellies, that's for sure. Alright. Well, let's, uh, let's take this to the disturbed shopkeep's daughter. the eggs off to Gus for his uh, fam famous omelet as well. There you go. Hmm. This isn't as exciting as I thought it would be. It's 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 algae, Abigail. What were you expecting? That's not your fault. <laughs> Thanks for responding to my bulletin, Inky. What were you expecting? I really This is like <laughs> This is like the most uh, bored rural teenager request of all time. Give me some algae, I'm bored. Oh wait, this sucks. It's literally algae. It's slimy and it smells bad. Why did I want this? Three thousand gold. I probably would have gotten more from just selling the eggs, I don't know. How you doing, Gus? I feel like I haven't talked too much. Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. Uh, sure, sure thing. Yeah, yeah, it's really, uh, really hopping in here, bud. gonna drop off the bullhead. Relative of the catfish that eats a variety of foods off the lake bottom. Speaking of catfish, I think I can catch catfish and I need to catch one for the uh, for the you know. So I might try to do that with the rest of today. Pretty sure I can catch them in the fall. It's uh, true to life. I think, I think catfishing season is in the fall. It's, I will, uh, I will cop to not being the biggest fisher in real life, but I think catfishing season's in the fall. There are no catfish where I am either, so that kind of uh, impacts things. But yeah, I know, know you fish them out of the river. I think, therefore, I can. There you go. You're, uh... In a solipsistic paradise of our own creation. Alright. 
is uh this is a great fishing spot it's also where a legendary fish spawns during one of the seasons but i forget which one it is one in four chance it's this one we'll see Salmon. What a bottom feeder. Bremro, hey, and deluxe bait. Causes fish to bite even faster and increases the size of the fishing bar. Nice. Well, let's let's play around with that. Let's see just how good it actually is. Well, that's a pretty noticeable increase in the size of the fishing bar, actually. Hmm. That's probably the strat for uh, grabbing legendary fish. Do that and do, like, the cork bobber, I think, also makes your fishing bar a little larger. Used your last piece of bait fishing up some trash. No catfish today, unfortunately. That's fine. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty sure it's a fall fish. Maybe not. We'll see. Did, never did pick up the bunny either, did I? Quite a shame, that is. These can be aged in a preserves jar to bring out more flavor. Okay, we'll do that. as soon as I have one available. <whistles> 225 for goat milk, uh, 380 for an iridium quality large milk. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, actually, uh, well, you would get a gold star cheese out of doing iridium large milk, so 
sure you'd gain a little bit. Yeah, apples and prom pomegranate, just free money. Falling off the trees. It literally grows on trees, folks. It literally grows on trees. <laughs> oh. Because I waifu'd Abigail in uh, my main playthrough, I happen to know that today is her birthday. I've heard you've been giving some people a hand around town. Everyone seems really thankful. I'm awarding you this month's Best Neighbor Award with a small cash prize. Keep it up. And Lewis is uh, really, really desperate to get people involved, huh? Hey, hey, thanks for the eggs. The yolk look amazing. I think this will be my best omelet yet. Please accept this gift, Gus. A mini fridge. How's that work? I'll see you to store additional ingredients for cooking. Oh, I see. Um, sure. I'll set it there. That's, uh, of, of limited usefulness, but sure, thanks. See, my backup, if I can't come up with anything cool to uh, put in the Grange display, we'll just do a Gold Star Cranberry. Just let that linger on the Grange display for a little while. to lock up the damn animals again. Let's pop over to Marnie's and see how much the uh, rabbits are going to run me. <laughs> 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., sure. some fish away from Willie in the meanwhile. <laughs> this, this might be a catfish, actually. Uh, nope, it's a tiger trout, which is another thing I need. Rare hybrid trout that cannot bear offspring of its own. I think I need a tiger trout. Nice. Eight, <laughs> eight thousand gold for the rabbit. Huh. I mean, obviously. Obviously, we're just going to name him after some yabbits. Of Pecora, and we will have. We'll start with two for the time being. We'll have Pecora, and we'll have Pippa. Oh, both of them together under the same roof sounds uh sounds terrifying. Oh hey. I found the lucky purple shorts. Better return it to Lewis, I guess. Better not inspect these too closely. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I guess you get a prize ticket for doing the, uh, the big jobs, too. That's nice. Especially since the prize ticket reward actually doesn't suck this time around. Ooh, four sprinklers. Hey, Lewis. Check it out. You found them where? Oh, um, <laughs> there? I have no idea how they could have gotten there. <clears throat> this stays between you and me, got it. Sure thing. You gonna pay me? Yes. Some explosives. My kind of mystery box. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the Ted Kaczynski mystery box. It's just a just a ton of bombs in there. Oh, Mr. Chi, you so crazy. Hmm. Actually, I do have some more uh, geodes I could pop open. like any other ones, so, yeah. We'll go back to Clint, why not? Mm hmm Fish stew. Yeah, fish stew. Salt, one I haven't gotten. Nice. Uh, all right, which I think obsidian. Hmm. Huh. I think uh, yeah, a couple things. The best specimens resemble a desert rose. Hmm. Smells a lot like the sea. Tastes better though. Hmm. Yeah, getting seawater in your mouth is uh, no fun. Fisherman Act 1. <laughs> Gordy, how do you catch so many fish? For me, it takes forever. You must make the choice to become a true fisherman, and over time, your fishing speed will increase. So you're saying that improving my fishing skill will make me fish fas faster? <laughs> will make me fish faster. Correct. One day, you may even learn the secret to creating your very own bobbers and proving your mastery even more. Now be gone. When you eat certain foods, you'll perform better. At, uh, at what? How deep do the mines go? 120 floors. Many of those who venture deep into the mines never return. However, there have been a few bold adventurers who have traveled deep into the mines and have resurfaced with interesting reports. Apparently, there are three distinct areas in the mine, each with unique monsters and treasures. Some adventurers speak of gigantic underground lakes and strange creatures, but none of these claims have been proven. Uh-huh. 120 floors. Is the fair? Is it day after tomorrow? I feel like I got it in the bag. Ah, oh, the 16th. Okay. Hmm. Might have to leave that for next stream. I don't know if I can, uh, I'd like to put red mushroom on my great-grandfather's tombstone. Please deliver it sometime today. I'm not sure I have any, uh, red mushroom handy, unfortunately. So honoring your dead with fungus. That's uh that's a thing.
groovy. So we need a shad and a catfish. Ooh, I could go fish for the wood skip. Hmm. Oh. Um. Stay there, Abigail. Stay there. Mm -mm. Purple variant of quartz. Boom. Hey, you remember my birthday. Thanks, Inky. This is really nice. Yeah, like two hearts with her right away. Do you have any scarecrows on your farm? Sure do. Cute little bunnies. Can't really see them like super well, but they're there. All right, so I think we're gonna head into the uh, gonna head into the secret woods again. And we'll fish up a wood skip. This is one of the, the specialty fish, the secret fish. <laughs> Ooh, getting tougher slimes. Autumn times mean tougher slimes. Committing crimes. Slicing limes. But not dropping dimes. I can't think of anything else. I think that's all of the uh, I'm words. Chimes. Yeah. Blowing wind chimes. Oh, dropped a mahogany seed. Cool. Ow. Stop it. Out. Stop it. Out. Stop it. Monster compendium. Reading this book will grant some combat experience. There it is, the wood skip. Very sensitive fish that can only live in pools deep in the forest. Sensitive to what, I wonder? Pollution? Let's check in with Mr. Wizard. How you doing, bud? Beware, you are standing above a potent magical field. I built my hut right here on purpose, you know. Uh-huh. Well, allow me to get the fuck out. Hmm. 
So I think I'll play one more day, because I do want to harvest the uh, pumpkins. Should be maturing tomorrow. Um, mostly just so that I don't forget to, uh, if I get five gold star ones, put them in the community center, get that bundle done. And also put aside a pumpkin for the, uh, for the fair. We appear to be missing a uh, goat. You leave and reshuffle them, see if maybe there's just two on top of each other. Yep. Now they did it with the cows. Yeah, one, two, three, four, two bunnies, four chickens, sure. So I think the goat cheese and the wood skip are both uh, something we can turn into the uh, community center. I know that row needs to, uh, eh. The row can be aged. Row v age. Um, yeah. Yeah, the wood skip and the goat cheese. We'll we'll turn them in. We will turn in for the night. We will harvest our pumpkins. Um, and probably like the pumpkins should be good for uh for a pretty good cash. Like we're gonna have to give up five of them for the stupid bundle at the community center, but uh yeah, even the ones we have left should be fantastic. Right, you. There. No, apparently they want large gold goat milk, not the cheese. Fair enough. They just want... 10 hardwood, 99 stone, 198 wood. Not bad. Trying to decide if I have it in me to, to do another day or not. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm kind of falling asleep here, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, I think I might uh, think I might call it here for tonight. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll push on. We'll push on. We'll push on. The thought of stopping uh, filled me with energy for some reason. 
Gonna rain all day tomorrow, very nice. Spirits are in good humor. Trout soup. Something about fresh caught trout that just gets me buzzing. Uh huh. Pumpkins. <laughs> Hot pepper wine. Sweet Jesus. What have we done? Excellent. Oh yeah. A lot of gold star pumpkins. Um, so yeah, if memory serves, uh, one of the, uh, one of the townspeople is gonna give us a quest to, uh, grow a pumpkin for them, so it's good to have that. Good to have that before the end of the season. Um, so we'll turn in the five pumpkins at the community center, finish that particular bundle. Get this hot pepper wine out of my sight, please. Oh, and actually... Pretty sure the pumpkin is part of the normal fall bundle, too. Alright. So then I'll probably just pick up uh, bok choy seeds. We need to grow a whole bunch. More broccoli. Into the wood chipper with ya. Go Fargo on your ass. Probably make like some pomegranate wine or something. I know that exists, at least. Not sure about the hot pepper wine, but, um, pomegranate definitely does. Ooh, I see you found my wood chipper, don't you know? Potato is too young to produce milk. Uh-oh. We touched, uh, we touched underage goat udders, guys. Guess we are, uh, probably getting cancelled for that. Immediately jail. Yep. Mm-hmm. Correct. Hey! We got a duck feather. Very, very nice. We got two duck feathers. You know, I could maybe build up to like uh, even more than 24 broccoli seeds. That might be cool. We'll make some, yeah, we'll make some pomegranate wine here. Oh, she brought me stinky green algae. Thanks, Yennefer. You really are a cat. You, you, of all the cats, you are one of them.
Actually, I guess the uh, wizard bundle needed wine, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll give the pomegranate wine when we uh, when we get it. Uh, right, it was the dye bundle. Now we're just waiting on that red cabbage. I really should be checking the merchant for it, but um, that requires like remembering when the merchant is in town and going and checking on her, and uh, it's not my not my strong suit. Pumpkin. Quality crops bundle done. Gives you a preserves jar. I can I can work with that. Could you could you maybe move? Thank you. So yeah, what I think I might do is build a shed. An invasive crab species is living in the local mine, threatening the native wildlife. Its creatures are known for disguising themselves as stones. I'll pay someone to slay two of them. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? put that there for now. I can't use it, you know, until all of the other preserves jars are uh, are in use. Then then things would not be uh, finishing at the same time. It would be it would be awful. It would be awful. It would be chaos, you know. Better to wait for the other preserves to be done than we use the then we use this preserves jar. Ideally that we wait for the keg to be done, move the preserves jar up here, move the keg somewhere else. You know. Oh shit, I need bok choy. Oh. Uh, hello, Abigail. I I totally came here to see you. Inky, what are you doing in my room? You scared me sneaking into my room like that, seriously. Uh, so I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Either that or I'm just terrible at it. <laughs> uh, probably the latter. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Sure. Let's see if I remember how to play this. Wazda, shoot with the arrows, space to do item. Okay. Here they come. Luckily I, luckily I can't uh, TK Abigail. Luckily or maybe unluckily. Abigail, come on. Get good. Stop it, get some help. Oh my god, come on, come on. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Making the big money moves. Shit! Okay, maybe I'm not very good at this game either. She's she's kinda I, I really wish I could clip through her. She's kinda blocking blocking my sick moves here. Halfway done.
No oh, fuck's sake. Okay, okay. Do you become better or do you become worse because girls are watching? It looks like worse in my case. Okay, there we go. Or not. <laughs> wow, you suck at this game too. Uh, I give up. I'll never get past the first level. Oh well, thanks for trying. Yes, let's uh, let's never speak of that again. All right. Um, so I'm gonna have to end up planting 120 of these. Just basically whenever any space opens up, we're planting bok choy. I don't have to do anything special with them, right? Harvest 100 bok choy, ship 100 bok choy, sure. head to the mines and try and uh, get a couple lava crabs. See if I can catch some crabs down in the mines. Um, yeah, like probably Flora 100 is the place to go for this sort of thing. bar. Interesting. Mines? Interesting place to catch crabs. I mean, you take it where you get it. You take it where you get it. Catching crabs real deep downstairs. Jesus. Okay, that's... See, this is where... This is where the, uh, the mallet would shine. Do big AoE attacks, fuck these things up. Oh god.
Usually these big uh, enemy floors are good for at least one uh, rock or lava crab. I guess is the appropriate terminology. Okay, yeah, yeah, die please, thank you. Immunity band. Top of the ring is made from enchanted purple wool. Nice. Uh, yeah, might might do without the glow ring. Really lucky and got a got a rock crab right off the bat and then just nothing. Hmm. Well, it's getting late and I'm wounded wounded kinda badly, so uh, I don't think we'll continue with this. I'll pop up to 80. We'll we'll look at one more just in case. Ooh, this is a this is a fucking awful floor. All right, let's let's not deal with this. here, so I'll stay around for a little longer then. Find the damn lava crabs when you want them. Oh. Speak of the crustacean, he will appear. Oh. God. Um. That's a problem. That is indeed a problem. Alright. The bat will kill me if it reaches me. Uh, so we go down. Greed for gold, and then leave. Uncom uncomfortably, uncomfortable, uncomfortably close to uh, to dying there. We did our. Oh yeah, look at all that cash for the pumpkins. Yeah, Five hundred twenty-eight gold for each gold star pumpkin. 
440 for silver, 352 for regular. Yeah. It's good shit. Very good shit. Okay, so yeah, that is definitely where I'm going to have to leave it off because I am uh, I am passing out. So uh, thank you all so much for coming out. I'm going to keep playing this tomorrow. It's going to be a Stardew weekend. Looking, looking forward to it. Death is so inconvenient, isn't it, though? Isn't it, though? <laughs> um, yeah. Especially when those Joja bastards uh, find you down in the mine and uh, resuscitate you for a price. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be continuing with this tomorrow. It's going to be the same time as usual, 10 p.m. Eastern. Hope you can join me for that as well. Uh, thank you all so much for coming out. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend uh, if I don't see you tomorrow. And that, I think, is about all I got. Yeah, I'm, I'm passing out, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go lie down, I think. Um, until next time, Amiki, I bid you walete. Please take very, very good care of yourselves. I'll see you all again real soon. Later! Maybe. There's the button. Okay, later. <laughs>